So if you watch my previous videos, uh, you have already seen that, uh, for example, in order to retrieve all the information uh, about, per uh, about persons, about any models, I use objects all. And for example, if I want to create a new object, I use objects create. And so this is, of course, just our model class, but this is, uh, this object is actually a manager for our model. And by default, if you don't define any managers, uh, we use uh, this name. So Django gives us the default objects manager. Uh, so basically, manager is something uh, that we use in order to uh, communicate with, dat with database. For example, if you want to <clears throat> create a new object, uh, we don't really need to uh, write the SQL commands, but we, we just uh, uh, use the create function from our manager. And if you, if you want to retrieve all the information, uh, you know, for example, uh, also with filters, uh, birth year equals one hundred. Then again, we just uh, we can do it very simply uh, with our manager. We don't really need to write any SQL. But sometimes uh, it's uh, well. Okay, let let me first show you. Uh, for example, if you don't like the name object, I don't know. For some reason, uh, you can change the name of the manager. And to do that, for example, uh, for example, we can define the people as models manager. And that would mean that our, so by default, it's basically objects model manager, models manager. Uh, of course, we don't write that. Uh, because it's uh, assigned automatically by Django. Uh, but basically, you know, if you had to write it uh, by default, you would write objects models manager. And here we could, for example, just change the name. All right, so let's exit, let's make migrations. Uh, if we change uh, managers, uh, we have to migrate. Let's go to shell and now person, for example, objects. Oh, it's not working anymore because we changed the default manager to people. So now we have to use people and it will have uh, the same functionality. Well, in some cases, you know, the default manager is just not enough. And in this case, we can define a new manager, for example, I don't know, people. Um, before 100. So for example, we, uh, we want to get, uh, we want to create a manager that will, uh, if we, if we call, for example, all method, uh, all function, then uh, we would actually get all the people uh, which were born before uh, year 100. And in this case, we have to create our new manager before 100, for example, we would name it models manager. And here, uh, basically, we would just replace the basic get query set function, uh, which uh, actually, I mean, uh, when we call all, uh, we basically call this get query set function. So we call this uh, all function. And here, again, we return uh, super manager original manager again uh, we 
we get query set and we filter it uh, by birth year and uh, you know I will explain later in later videos more about filtering and uh, all the queries that we can perform but for now uh, you just need to know that this actually is filtering objects by birth year where birth year is less than 100. So let's try to actually uh, let's try to migrate I'm not sure if I need to people before 100 is not defined yeah of course we need to do that or maybe we it will be simpler so let's make migrations let's migrate and let's go to shell and now uh, again if you write an additional manager you actually have to also define this default manager uh, otherwise uh, it, it, it will just not exist so you need to write it down so here again uh, we can use now uh, instead of objects use before 100 manager and here here we write all and we receive all the person which were born before 100 because this is uh, what this manager actually returns when we call all also what i wanted to show you is that there is a default and the most important manager and for now this is objects so for example it would uh, mean a lot for example in admin panel so for now you know we have default manager here and we get uh, we get all the uh, all the people uh, not filtering them but for example if we write this custom manager before objects so before our default manager what happens is this before 100 actually becomes a default manager so right now we can migrate and now if you open the admin panel we can see that our default manager was changed and now this is the default manager is filtering manager uh, for example if for some reason you really don't want to change the ordering uh, here in the code but you need these objects to be default manager you can actually define it in meta field using default manager name objects for example and now I guess we need to also migrate and go back and now again as we define the default manager as objects in our admin panel we have it uh, again uh, you know uh, all our people not filtered for some simple operations uh, as this before 100 operation we can use uh, we don't need to actually create a manager but we can create the query set class before 100 query models query set before 100 self and, uh, basically here we don't really need to uh, inherit from different uh, stuff we just need to define our new query set self filter and the same birth year less than 100 and in this case uh, we can use this query set 
as a manager. So we just do it this as manager. So again, uh, as you can see, uh, now this is uh, not, uh, we, we don't use manager anymore, we use query set and the query set itself is more or less uh, not so complicated as the manager definition. So basically uh, this query set can actually run as a manager. And let me show you that it's true. Let's go to shell. So now we can use the 400 and we, uh, we can use all uh, because actually right now uh, I've used this query set as a manager, but we didn't define, uh, we didn't actually specify that our all function is overridden. So uh, it inherits from the basic uh, manager. But here we can also uh, use our custom method before 100, which is this, this method. And now we actually filter out our stuff. And actually you can use these query sets also inside managers. So in this case, uh, we just return your fear query set and we define their custom method again before 100 return self get query set. Uh, so yeah, we basically get that this method which returns query set before 100 query. And uh, here again, we call before 100 function, which will return uh, filtered, uh, uh, filtered people. Why do we need to complicate that? Uh, well, for example, uh, we might have a new model, for example, alien. And this alien also will have birth year and we would define also a manager for the alien, you know, and we, we would have some uh, different functions here. So it will be different from, uh, from person before 100, right? So it will be something else. Uh, but in the same time, uh, these two managers, uh, they will share this before 100 query set. So both of these managers uh, would uh, have to have it. And in this case, to actually not complicate, not to write uh, more code, we would use uh, this query set which will uh, work both for a person and an alien. But for now, I will not show you all this complicated stuff. So let's just, I, I just wanted to kind of explain why uh, would we actually need it. But for our example, again, we can use this before 100 manager. Let's once again, make migrations definition before 100 yes because in itself here migrate show and again here we use our person model then we write before 100 as our manager and then our before 100 for example have all function which will uh, your fear query set is not defined and go back again person before hundred all and again uh, now 
uh, we didn't uh, we didn't really override this uh, all function because here as i said it's just get query set uh, which returns before 100 query and here we didn't uh, redefine our all function so it returns everything but again our manager has before 100 and it is actually filtering right now 